Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss about the second part of the iron deficiency anemia. In the first part, we have already discussed about the signs and symptoms uh, of iron deficiency anemia. Let's see the contents of this uh, discussion. First of all, the different causes of iron deficiency anemia. Then comes the IRIDA, that is uh, iron refractory iron deficiency anemia. And uh, after that, we will uh, see some references uh, which will help us for the further study. Now, the, in brief, there are some causes of iron deficiency anemia you can see. Let's discuss about this in detail. First of all, deficient iron diet. If a person takes uh, iron deficient diet for a long period of time, then he or she uh, may be prone uh, to the iron deficiency anemia. That means in our daily diet, some amount of iron is very much necessary. Low meat intake is also a cause because meat is uh, very much rich in iron, but due to different uh, reasons like uh, socioeconomic level, nutritional status, uh, in uh, that uh, residing in a developing country, uh, people are not uh, used to take uh, meat regularly. So this can also be considered as a cause of iron deficiency anemia. In case of the children, there is a tendency of high consumption of cow's milk. And uh, as because the cow's milk does not contain enough amount of iron, uh, so the children may suffer from iron deficiency anemia. Now let's see that uh, what is the minimum amount required that is listed below. Now, if we go through the list, then we will see that the woman require iron more than the man. Basically, the woman of the child bearing age, that is from uh, 14 to 18, then 19 to 50. And above that means greater than 50 years, the woman needs uh, 5 milligram per day as because uh, at that time they attain the menopause. That means the cessation of the menstrual cycle and the highest amount of iron needed in a woman's life is if she gets pregnant that is 27 milligram per day decreased absorption of iron we know that the iron is basically absorbed by the duodenal part of the small intestine small intestine have three parts duodenum jejunum and ileum and it's the duodenum part which helps in the absorption of the iron and its distribution to the general circulation for its availability now this Absorption of iron is uh, problematic in the duodenum due to the following reason. Number one is okay, celiac disease. Now, uh, sometimes it has been found that uh, there is uh, some uh, pro abnormality in the structure of the duodenal layer. So, the duodenum cannot function properly. So, this can be a cause of iron deficiency anemia. Abnormalities of the stomach and surgical removal of the stomach. Now, this uh, stomach is very much important in this case because within the stomach we get HCL. Now, HCL creates an acidic environment which is very much important for the conversion of the ferric form of iron into the ferrous form of iron. And it is the ferrous form of iron which is absorbed into our body by the duodenum. So, if the stomach uh, is uh, not uh, functionally and structurally normal or uh, due to some emergency the stomach is detached from the body surgically, then it can cause a problem. Next, hypochlorhydria or achlorhydria. Hypochlorhydria, achlorhydria means uh, less amount of HCl present in the uh, stomach or almost no HCl is present in the stomach. Then what happens? The acidic environment is lost and it is uh, the acidic environment which helps the conversion of the ferric form of iron into the absorbable ferrous form of iron. So, this too may cause iron deficiency anemia. The next one is bariatric surgery. Uh, actually, in case of the obese person, uh, this surgery has been done and uh, this surgery uh, actually uh, creates a problem because it bypasses the duodenum and iron is not absorbed. Another one is Robson by gastric bypass. 17 to 45 percent of uh, person is suffering from this. 
and uh, uh, it's a, a treatment for the uh, weight management and uh, diabetes control in this case what uh, doctors used to do that the stomach is made into a small pouch and it is connected directly into the other part of the small intestine like jejunum and ileum just bypassing the duodenum so in this case of the bariatric surgery and also into in the case of the rox bypass it has been found that uh, it is bypassing the duodenum the uh, way the root is bypassing the duodenum so the duodenum cannot absorb uh, iron so there is a, a every chance of happening iron deficiency anemia now increased requirement of iron main uh, requirement of iron in a, a life of a woman is uh, during the pregnancy uh, now uh, just I have told that almost 27 milligram of uh, iron is required per day for two reasons. Number one, for the proper growth of the placenta or the uh, baby and the growing body of the mother herself. Now, if it has been not done, that means the supplementation is not done during pregnancy, the following problems can occur. Risk of infection for both mother and the baby. Complications during pregnancy like preeclampsia, then bleeding problems, etc improper development of the fetal tissue each and every tissue of our body requires iron for its development so uh, in case of the fetal tissue also it will not possible premature labor then disturb neural function of the body nervous system is very much prone to the uh, requirement of the iron so it's very important for enough iron supplementation during pregnancy then low birth weight delays in the language and the motor development in case of the infants it's continued next uh, increased requirement of iron is again seen in case of the lactating mother because the breast milk is uh, not uh, pr cannot provide a sufficient amount of iron to the baby because uh, due to maternal iron depletion and the loss of blood during the childbirth enough iron is already moved out from the body so the lactating mother should be supplemented with enough iron to provide the baby enough iron during its growth period Next increased uh, amount of iron is very much required in the growing period of the children because uh, this iron helps in the growth and the development of the motor systems then uh, musculoskeletal system nervous system of our body but uh, children with following criteria suffers from iron deficiency anemia first of all low socioeconomic level who cannot uh, uh, bear the uh, intake of a regular iron rich diet in special health care needs the person uh, who you the children basically who actually need the special care and uh, maybe have some allergies for the iron then overweight persons who have to get uh, under goes the surgery like bariatric and uh, that bypass then breast breeders who have not received iron supplementation of the age of six months so increased requirement of iron in three basic cases we have seen number one is pregnancy then lactation with children now chronic blood loss it is another cause of iron deficiency anemia now there are different uh, reasons uh, for the uh, chronic blood loss like uh, peptic ulcer now if untreated this peptic ulcer can cause internal bleeding and uh, if there is a slow and chronic internal bleeding then what happens blood gradually lost from the body along with the iron next comes angiodysplasia now it is the abnormality in the blood vessels of the gastrointestinal tract due to the enlargement of the blood vessels. It forms the lesion in the colon and the stomach and there is continuous oozing of uh, blood uh, from the colon and the stomach. Next comes inflammatory bowel disease. Now this inflammatory bowel disease can again be uh, covered under uh, two um, basic uh, problems that is ulcerative colitis. It is uh, the inflammation in the lining of the large uh, uh, intestine and the colon which causes the bleeding and the next one is Cohn's disease it actually affects the deeper layers of the GI tract and causes the bleeding next comes colon polyp actually it's a clump of small cells which is uh, present in the lining of the colon and if it continues for a long period of time it may bleed and can cause the loss of blood next comes menstrual bleeding in case of the childbearing, uh, the in case of the woman of childbearing age, a woman uh, face uh, menorrhea and means the heavy flow and have a higher risk of the 
uh, iron deficiency anemia next blood donation uh, when a person uh, donates whole blood almost 200 mg of iron is lost per blood donation so enough supplementation of iron is very much required after blood donation and uh, when the person uh, donates uh, only plasma or uh, wbc or platelets then uh, this uh, uh, means uh, iron deficiency anemia does not happen in that much prongs now hemoglobin urea hemoglobin uh, urea means uh, when the urine is uh, containing with iron but without any rbc sometimes when the urine sample is taken and it has been found that uh, it colors bleedy means uh, blood like uh, brick red but uh, there is no presence of rbc and then it is uh, somehow confirmed that the person is suffering from hemoglobin urea means iron is lost through the urine so naturally iron deficiency anemia will occur the next one is iron sequestration that is very important now what is sequestration sequestration means chelation it can be defined as the ability to form complex bond with metal ions that allow the metal ion to remain in the solution that means uh, metal ion cannot be used but it will remain in the solution it has been found that hepcidin it is a very important regulatory small peptide uh, hormone which actually controls the iron if due to some reason hepcidin is excess in the body uh, it will cause endocytosis and proteolysis of the cellular iron exporter that is ferroportin and this is the only iron exporter we have in our body and if this iron exporter is trapped and closed then what will happen iron is not available iron will not be available in the general circulation iron will also be trapped in the macrophages and enterocytes which will give rise to two uh, different problems that is hypoferemia and iron restricted erythropoiesis now iron restricted erythropoiesis means uh, erythropoiesis is going on but uh, that is restricted of iron means less amount of iron is there present during the erythropoiesis so this is iron sequestration this is also considered to be another cause of iron deficiency anemia now iron refractory iron deficiency anemia it's another important thing because it's the genetic uh, problem or the genetic cause of iron deficiency anemia the gene that is responsible for this it's written here tmprss6 gene what happens if there is a genetic mutation or genetic disorder in the body of the children then what happens excess hepcidin is produced and this excess hepcidin what uh, uh, actually causes the trapping of the iron into the macrophages just we have discussed about that and uh, there is less availability of the iron in the blood stream and the children who are suffering from this uh, rare genetic disease irida they uh, see uh, actually very less amount of uh, energy is within them they get fatigue very uh, easily uh, they have the pale skin and not enough oxygen is present in their body as because very less amount of hemoglobin is present so there are some references for the further study thank you very much for patient listening so we have discussed about uh, the different causes of iron deficiency anemia and it will be continued to part 3 where we will discuss about the treatment of iron deficiency anemia so thank you very much bye bye